It was just a miracle. God saved my life. Life is finally starting to get back to normal for 16-year-old Nicholas Elman and his family. The Saginaw Township family of five almost lost their two boys this past Labor Day. While driving from their cottage at Higgins Lake to football practice at Saginaw Nouvelle, the boys got into a car accident near Beaverton. Coleman Road, it was just a back road. It was just like a faster way because we yeah. just beat the traffic on the highway. And then I guess my brother was passing somebody and like there was a little like dip in the road and all of a sudden there was a car right there and he tried to swerve and hit my side. I just like remember the car turning and then I just wake up and the, my nose is just bleeding everywhere and I get out of the car and I'm just, I don't really know what I'm like thinking. Someone said he's in the car, so I like rush back to the car, and he's just unconscious on the seat. So I'm like just panicking, of course, and I'm calling for someone to help me while I'm pulling him out. Uh, suddenly, this one lady comes out and helps me pull him out. You don't remember your brother pulling you out? No. Michael suffered a broken nose and was released from the hospital the same day. Nicholas wasn't as lucky. Do you still remember that phone call like it was yesterday? Yeah, yeah. it's pretty devastating. Yeah, worst phone call yeah. a parent can get. Nicholas was in critical condition with a broken femur and diffuse axonal brain injury. It happens when the brain rapidly shifts inside the skull as an injury is occurring. He also suffered bleeding in his brain and was put in a medically induced coma. I mean, it's it's devastating. devastating. They were just saying that he needed time. Dr. Udine, he went on to say that uh, kids uh, with this type of uh, brain injury and um, injury that he suffered, a lot of times they're months in coma and, and unfortunately sometimes they don't ever come out of it. The Elmans were told only about 10% of kids who suffer this type of injury ever make a full recovery. It was at this point that the devout Catholics turned to their faith and asked others to do the same. Tuesday, the next day, Nouvelle had a prayer service for my boys. And then my friend ended up having a, a 10 o'clock prayer on Facebook. Then Nouvelle would stop everything at school, the elementary and the high school, and they would do their Our Father. And it took off and everybody started praying. We had people reaching out to us from all different school districts uh, around Saginaw here that were also stopping what they were doing and praying at 10 o'clock. I tweeted out like just like prayers for Nicholas and then that tweet is what like went viral by Wednesday at 10 o'clock. Everyone throughout like Michigan was praying and powerful things happen when a group of people pray together at the same time. On Wednesday morning, Nicholas was still in a coma, but during that 10 a.m. prayer session, Nicholas opened his eyes and moved his hands. We were quite surprised and it was miraculous. He just, at that time, he started moving. Nicholas was out of his coma, but his mind was in a cloud of consciousness. The next day, with more people around the world joining in and praying at 10 a.m., a major breakthrough. He started communicating, talking for the very first time, and he started saying the uh, Our Father prayer with us at that time. I was hanging on to Sister Ann's hand, and when he was reciting it, her and I just looked at each other, and it's like we could feel the present of God and just it was just so powerful and that moment I knew I knew he was gonna be okay from there Nicholas's progression took off the next day he was up and moving around the hospital he then spent the next few weeks at a rehab center in Saginaw before being released to go home after doing outpatient therapy for a few months Nicholas finally went back to school in January he now calls the accident a blessing because it's made him into a different person. It's changed me a lot. I'm just, I feel like I'm just more thankful for like life because life can be taken away in an instant. Nicholas has said that this is my second chance, Mom. God gave me a second chance in life. And he's, mm -hmm. he said, I'm gonna do good things. Michael Elman continues to excel in sports during his senior year. Meanwhile, Nicholas hopes to be healthy enough to play hoops and baseball next school year, but his football career is over. You are looking at the final touchdown he ever scored. He took a kickoff to the house 11 days before the car accident. With this special report, I'm Jason Fielder for WNEM-TV5.